from the publishers of your favorite licensed anime games. And, uh, Jump Force? Comes a new IP that boldly asks the question, how much waifu can we cram into a Dark Souls? A f**k load, it turns out. Code Vein. Discover the anime cyber goth world of Code Vein, where you'll be thrown into a vortex of vampires, monsters, and big anime battles. In gameplay taken almost directly out of the From Software playbook, except with loose, weightless combat that feels like it came straight out of God Eater. And all the gravitas and mystery replaced with melodramatic cutscenes set to sad piano music in a divisive experience that really comes down to whether you're up for some anime-ass anime. And if you are, oh boy, do they have the character creator for you. It's just like Skyrim with all of those mods you're ashamed of. Explore the apocalyptic world of Tokyo, I guess, it's, it's always Tokyo, as a Blade 2 esque virus turns most of humanity into vampires with, um, science and transforms the entire world into a generic concrete maze full of gangly 16-foot demons for some reason. Then don the multiple high-collared capes of the Revenants, undead warriors that need human blood to not get real cranky. Or at least beads that grow from these blood trees that you have the power to revive but you don't know why because you have, you guessed it, amnesia and bring back humanity from the brink of annihilation from being too goth by hitting everything you see with a sword that's bigger than your body in a premise that tries its very best to explain why you are doing a Dark Souls that might be straight out of the Helsing fanfiction of a middle schooler. But hey, at least it's a slightly different post-apocalypse than we usually get. Besides, if I can summon blood dogs to chomp on monsters, I really don't care how you had to explain it. <laughs> yeah. Slay the many otherworldly creatures of the unfortunately named world of Vane in a rough approximation of the Souls gameplay formula that you know and are getting sick of, which is basically just a normal action game with limited healing and a harsh death penalty, where they stick dudes behind every corner just to mess with you and all the weirdly sexy bosses have ridiculous stun locks and no telegraph charges that will tempt you to just say f**k it and let your extremely overpowered AI companion do most of the work so you can get back to the melodrama of the storyline in a much more casual version of Dark Souls that's less about preparing to die and more about preparing to cry. I mean, just look at this poor girl. No memory, wears nothing but rags, and is 50% titty. That's gotta be a hard life. Shift gears as you customize your loadout with Code's overly complicated skill system that will let you mix and match jobs and skills to create a unique playstyle that's all your own. Provided you don't mind hunting down skill upgrades through collectibles hidden around the map and then sitting through the tragic backstory of the lady that sells healing potions or whatever, just so you can learn how to swing your sword harder. But at least provides plenty of room for different builds, if you ignore the fact that you can get by with just mashing light attack and rolling around most of the time. But let's be real, if you're interested in this game, you were probably sold like three minutes ago when I told you you can make your imaginary wife. So get out that black eyeliner and get ready to stick it to the system in a game that embodies the term fan service to an extreme degree where you're legally obligated to own at least one wall scroll before you can enjoy and never ever let anyone shame you for that let your body pillow covers fly brothers high and proud starring the shoujo the count ginger biters Buffy the Vampire Slobber, Hot Topic Cindy, GA Dead and Loving It, Lord Gino, Vampire Hunter D Light, Either Gonna Give You Up, Maximum Senpais, Only the Breast for Our Fans, Let's Start, and Your Mom, Die Food for Waifu. You know just how Japanese a game is when they have an onsen. 
I would say this rates right after Yakuza and Persona in its Japanese-ness. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below. A man chooses, a slave obeys. It's dangerous to go alone, take Batman. I just imagined an imaginary menagerie manager imagining managing imaginary menageries. I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Do you know of a place where sailors hang out? <laughs>